<laughs> Hello friends, this is Dilly for 254 Nature Grows and welcome to another interesting episode. Look at this. Give it here. Look at this. <laughs> Woo. Oh, happy day. <laughs> Today we are harvesting onions. Stick around. I want to give you some tips on how to get big onions and let's enjoy the harvest. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Julie for 254 Nature Growers. I share tips on how to grow affordable food at home and how you can save money. Let's go to the fields. Subscribe, like, and watch other videos to get more tips. The first tip is to harvest your onions when the weather is dry. Don't do any harvesting when the ground is wet because you'll tamper with the process of curing your onions. They won't last long. So it has taken me six months to get to this stage. There are several ways you can know if your onions are ready for harvest. One tip is to check the leaves. If they have started yellowing, that means they have stopped growing. The bulbs are well formed, so you can now harvest. The second tip is to check the leaves. If they bend over, if they flop or fall over, it means the plant has stopped growing and the bulbs have formed. So now they are ready for harvest. If you leave them over for long, they will, they will not grow. So it's good to time to harvest them at uh, this stage and cure them. So during the last two months, the bulbs will be falling. So make sure you just loosen the soil around your onions so that the bulbs can form well. So this one is completely dry. You'll just pull it off the ground like that. You'll cut the top here. A half an inch you'll just leave a half a half an inch to an inch of the top and you'll snip out the roots you'll use a scissors to snip the roots here and then you lay it out in the sun to dry so look at this the outer skin is dry so I'm just going to leave them out in the sun and I'll have them for long even for one year look at this it's also dry, look at the top, you see, it bends all the, over by itself. There are some people who, if you want to cure it faster, when it's still green, you just go ahead and bend it over by yourself. You do it by yourself, but for me, I just let them cure themselves here in the field. I didn't have to bend the leaves over, so you just pull it like this. So just using a, the normal scissors, just a pair of scissors, you're going to cut off the top. Just You're going to leave maybe a half to one inch, just around this point, around this point here. You're going to cut it. And, the, and also you have to remove the roots. So like this, this remaining part is going to dry up completely. You have to leave them out in the sun. So once they are, they are dry completely and this, this outer skin can also come off, it will just be dry, they will last you for long. So let me harvest the rest of the onions, then I'll show you the different sizes I have. If 
the weather is dry and windy, you can leave them out in the field. You just remove them and lay them like that and leave them out in the fields to dry. You just lay them like that out in the field to dry. But if there is a danger of it raining or any wetness, don't leave them out in the field because you tamper with the process of curing your onions and they will not last you for long. Friends, I want to share with you another tip. So I've just harvested this small area and look at this. This must be more, like, more than a kg from this, this small portion. So have I harvested all of it? No. There's a danger of leaving onions when you're in a rush. Because sometimes you won't see all of them. So take your time. Look this. You see? You see? Look at this. I would have left it behind. See? Another one. So be careful. Go step by step so that you don't leave onions behind. You see these onions? So sometimes they hide. <laughs> and when you are preparing the land for the next planting, you find more onions. Look at this. So this is part of it. So you have to be really careful to check, making sure you have not left any onions behind. Because if they get rained on, you lose your onions and that means you have reduced your yield. <laughs> because of excitement, I can leave some onions behind. You see? Small area. Woo! Look at this plant. <laughs> Look at this. All the different sizes. See? Come and help me! <laughs> See. Wow! When you are planting your onions, put them 10 centimeters apart so that you give each bulb space to just uh, fatten up. I'll do another video sharing with you the tips you need to learn so if you're new here remember to subscribe and like the video and watch more videos to learn how to grow your own food wow oh, happy day. Then, this is a good good day You can use this for a long time. So I'll do another video. Show you how to cure your onions. You can do this for a so far, please. Give this video a thumbs up. This <laughs> makes you good.
onion from two five four nature grads so in the next episode i'll share tips on how to cure your onions so that you can have them for long because you can grow onions and eat them for even a year if you cure them well so keep it here to get more tips look at this <laughs> look at this from this small area look at the sizes Whoops! Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! From two five four nature growers. So if you are new here, remember to subscribe, like, watch more videos to learn how to grow your own food at home. I share a lot of tips. See? <laughs> Wow, I'm going to weigh this, so I'll keep it here to follow the series on onion. Oh. Wow. 